Okay, we're on Expeditions uh, here today. We are doing the October Classroom and we are here with Miss Brandt. She is the coordinator for the Middle School Garden. Uh, she, we are doing a variety of different projects here, so she's going to kind of give us some insight as to what uh, these uh, individual projects entail and how they affect the garden. Okay, one of the first things we're doing is we're making some bee houses. Some of the kids over here have uh, saws and they're cutting apart sections of bamboo. The bee houses are for native bees that are tunneling bees. So the sections of bamboo that the kids will the kids will cut will have these will be open so that the bees can then go in there and they can uh, lay their eggs and, and live in those in those bee houses. These are not honeybees. We have honeybees down the road a little bit. These are uh, more native tunneling bees and they uh, help pollinate the garden. They help. Uh, uh, the vegetables that we have here grow and so the kids are going to make the bee houses and we're going to hang them up um, around the garden. Um, we have another group over here, you can see, sorry about that, they are making uh, what's called hoop houses and hoop houses are a portable or a temporary greenhouse. Um, it's October the 7th, you wouldn't be able to tell that because it's so warm outside, but the last average day of frost in this area is around October 15th up to November 1st. So eventually it's going to be a whole lot colder than it is now, but we have some plants underneath there. We have lettuce and beets and some carrots that can survive a little bit cooler weather, but they can't survive a frost. So we're trying to extend the growing season by um, creating these hoop houses. You can see they're created out of some flexible pipe. Uh, some plastic and the kids are nailing some boards on it that act as weights and uh, we'll be using those to uh, hopefully have salad in November which is kind of our goal. Uh, we're also going to be doing some plantings. Some of the kids are planting lettuce and carrots and beets again and we'll be creating, another group will be creating some hoop houses over those beds as well. And then, when they're all finished with that, there is never a time in the garden when there's nothing to do. <laughs> so we can always pull weeds, we can trim some of the dead flowers off of the perennials, we can make it look a little bit better, and uh, we can always, always work in the garden.